Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full review on Dollar Store skincare. Specifically, it's going to be Dollarama face masks because that's all they really had um, at the store. So I'm going to be going over the all the different products I picked up, the ingredients list. I'm actually going to be applying them all on my arm and waiting the full 15 minutes that's recommended to see what happens. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you which products I would actually use myself and some things you might want to consider with some of the ingredients list um, for some of the masks. So if you're curious to learn more about dollar store skincare and face masks, then just keep watching. Okay, so they basically had three different brands at the Dollarama. Um, they had this Lux Beauty Care brand, they had this Global Beauty Care brand, and then they have Neat and Easy. So I picked up one, two, three, four products by Lux, two by Global Beauty Care, and then one from the Neat and Easy. So I will start with Lux Beauty Care. Okay, so the first product is this Lux Beauty Care um, face mask. There's two that it comes with. One is charcoal, one is gold. And it says that um, the premium charcoal gel face mask is infused with natural charcoal, which acts like a magnet to gently draw out deep dwelling dirt, oil, and impurities, blah, blah, blah. So the other one says that the premium gold gel face mask is luxurious anti-aging skin treatment infused with gold, which is known to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by firming and toning, blah, blah, blah. So the ingredients list for both of these is really similar. Um, I'll do the charcoal first. So it has water, sodium lauryl sulfate. So that ingredient, sodium lauryl sulfate, is a detergent. Um, and that is the second ingredient in this mask. So if you have sensitive skin and you, you react poorly to um, harsh detergents, then this might irritate your skin. It is kind of surprising that it is the second ingredient in this mask. Um, next we have got charcoal powder, glycerin, propylene glycol, butylene glycol, trehalose butane, hydrolyzed wheat protein, retinol, tocopherol, which is vitamin E, ascorbic acid, so what I will mention about both of these masks, they do both say they contain retinol, it just doesn't disclose how much retinol is present. So if you do have sensitive skin, again that could be an issue, it's not clear what percentage of retinol is present in this formula. And then after that we've got hydroxyethyl cellulose, sodium hyaluronate, so hyaluronic acid, carbamer, triethanolamine, dipotassium glycerizate, ethyl hexoglycerin, phenoxyethanol, elantoin, pearl powder. So that's just basically a preservative system. Elantoin is um, a good emollient for the skin. And then the only difference with the gold one is that it has gold in it. That's the only difference at the end of the ingredients list. And it does not have the charcoal in it. So other than that exact same ingredients list, I'm going to put this on my arm. But I probably wouldn't put this on my face because I have sensitive skin and the sodium lauryl sulfate along with the undisclosed retinol would probably irritate my skin. So that is the charcoal and gold face mask. Next we have a vitamin C and cucumber duo, like two different face masks in one. Um, so again, very similar to the ingredients list of the other one. It is the same brand, but essentially Again, sod sodium lauryl sulfate is the second ingredient, which is a detergent, could be a little bit irritating. It does also have glycolic acid, retinol, vitamin E, vitamin C. Um, I will also mention the vitamin C present in all four of these formulas is disclosed as ascorbic acid, and it, ascorbic acid has really poor stability, so it is kind of unclear if that will still be in its ascorb ascorbic acid form or if it will already um, broken down in the formula and again it does have an undisclosed amount of retinol in there so could be slightly irritating to some people the cucumber face mask does say that it has cucumber fruit extract in it but again the formulas are pretty much the same um, for all four of these masks it does say that it's pH balanced hypoallergenic not tested on animals and for all skin types and again, all of these say to um, apply them and leave them on for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do um, on my arm. Okay, so next I have this metallic face mask. So it's like a pink metal face mask. 
And the ingredients include, it says it includes collagen, coenzyme Q10, and hyaluronic acid. Um, but however, in the ingredients list, it is listed as water, glycerin, propylene glycol, collagen, mica. Okay, so as soon as we see things like propylene glycol, collagen, and mica, we know that we're probably at a percentage of less than 1%. Um, the next ingredient is titanium dioxide. And then we have um, some iron oxides to make that color. So we have yellow and red iron oxides, carbamer, triethanolamine, triethyl ubiquinone, which is coenzyme Q10, um, and sodium hyaluronate along with some preservatives. So again, these actives are probably way less than 1%. Um, so I'm not sure if they're actually going to be able to do anything, but other than that, it is just like a cute metallic face mask. Um, mostly the active here would be glycerin, which is just going to, you know, kind of protect your skin from um, water evaporation and loss. So this more so is probably just for fun and for show and not a lot of active ingredients actually present in here. It does say that it's pH balanced, hypoallergenic, not tested on animals, and again, to be left on for 15 minutes. So we will see about this one. This one I would say is better than the other ones though because it does not have um, sodium laureth sulfate, which can be a little bit irritating. The second ingredient in this one is just glycerin, which is um, a good base for a face mask. So this one is probably just a fun one for, you know, kids or teens to put on and have like a fun metallic face mask. Okay, and the last one from Lux, Beauty Care. Now this one's actually kind of interesting. So um, the ingredients are, and this one is a sheet mask, sorry. So it's got liquid, but it's in a sheet. This is one that I actually think I would try. Um, it contains water, glycerin, malt extract, trehalose, diatomaceous earth. So diatomaceous earth is a really interesting ingredient. I used to use it to make deodorant. And it's also, um, it's generally used to clean up spills and can also be added to like kitty litter because um, basically it's really absorptive and it just absorbs everything. It also absorbs odors. So I could see how this in, um, could kind of draw things out of the skin, impurities and toxins, etc. Next we have dead sea salt, niacinamide. So that's an interesting one that's in here. It does contain niacinamide. It has um, peg 40 castor oil, collagen, panthenol, which are both really great skincare ingredients, xanthan gum, sodium hyaluronate, again, hyaluronic acid, and then just a preservative system, phenoxyethanol, dipotassium, glycerizate. Um, again, it says pH balanced, hypoallergenic, not tested on animals. So out of all of the face masks by Lux Beauty Care, I actually would probably try this one out just for fun. It is just $1.25, so if you are looking to just have kind of you know, a sheet mask experience, I would say this one is not that bad for the price and it does contain some active ingredients. Um, not sure again what the percentages are for any of them, but the ingredients list is very simple and basic. So yeah, out of all of them, uh, for people with sensitive skin, I would say this is probably the best one out of the Luxe Beauty Care options. Okay, onto our next brand, which is Global Beauty Care. So they have a this is a Dead Sea Mud Face Mask, so it's quite a lot of product. It's 150 ml, and I think this was $4 for this mask. So that's actually a really good price for how much mask is in here, and it does come with the applicator brush. Um, so the ingredients list includes water, glycerin, Dead Sea salt, propylene glycol, uh, caprylic, capric triglyceride, sorbitan, sesquio sesquiolate, Alantoin, which is a great skincare ingredient, vitamin E, dextran, which is just sugar, PEG 400, hydroxyethyl cellulose, xanthan gum, glycerol stearate, sodium hyaluronate, phenoxyethanol, and dipotassium glycerizate, which is again just the preservative system. So this is just basically a glycerin and dead sea salt mask. Um, there's not a lot other things going on here, but if you're just looking to do a nice um, mud mask and you want to have kind of this luxury mud mask experience this is actually not a bad one the ingredients list is pretty 
simple, but again, the glycerin is a great humectant and kind of boosts the natural moisturizing factors in your skin. Other than that, uh, just got a couple things in there so that the skin is moisturized, such as allantoin and vitamin E is a good antioxidant. So yeah, not the worst product out there, and especially for the price, like $4 for 150 ml. It's really not that bad if you're looking for a little um, evening luxury treatment. Okay, and then the second mask I have from Global Beauty Care is this retinol mask. Um, honestly, the ingredients list is really not that bad. So it's water, glycerin, retinol, beta-glucan, glycoproteins, betaine, sodium PCA, hydroxyethyl cellulose, tocopherol, hyaluronic acid, allantoin, dipotassium glycerizate, phenoxyethanol, perfume. Um, it says it's pH balanced, hypoallergenic, not tested on animals. What I will say about this is it doesn't disclose how much retinol is in here, so I wouldn't feel comfortable using it because I have very sensitive skin and I know that I could react poorly to a certain percentage of retinol. If you are super comfortable with retinol and you've used a variety of different percentages, this might be fine for you. So I think this was $4 and it came with two treatments, two different masks in there. Um, again, it's a sheet mask that you apply to the face. So if you are comfortable with retinol, honestly, this product does not look that bad. I just don't use retinol because I have very sensitive skin, so I'd be nervous about trying a product that didn't disclose the percentage of retinol that was present. But if you already use retinol and you're looking just for cheaper retinol products, honestly this one does not look that bad. The ingredients list is very simple, um, would be okay for people with sensitive skin if you have used retinol before, but if you've never used a retinol product, I definitely would not start with this one. Okay, last but not least, I have these deep cleansing nose strips from Neat and Easy. Um, this is a funny product. These definitely gained popularity in the past few years just with all of those Instagram videos of people like pulling off the thing and showing all of their blackheads come off on these pore strips. This one, however, I don't think that it would really work that well just based on the ingredients list. So. The ingredients include water, polyvinyl alcohol. So what that is, it's actually the adhesive. So that's what is gonna film a form once you apply it to your face and like stick on there. And then when you remove it, that's why it feels like you're almost taking off a, like a Band-Aid. Um, then we have glycerin, propylene glycol, witch hazel extract, titanium dioxide, perfume, and then just the preservative system. So there's really nothing in here that's going to detox the pores, draw anything out of the pores, and really you're just applying a strip with some glycerin to your nose, so I would not say that this is gonna be an effective product for um, unclogging pores and lifting away unwanted blackheads, oil, and dirt as it says it will. But if you're just looking for kind of that physical satisfying process of, you know, like, pulling something off your nose and feeling like it did something, then maybe this would work for you. But as far as actual skincare actives, I don't think that this is actually going to do anything to uh, remove blackheads from your pores. Okay, so in summary, the two products that I actually would put on my face from the Dollarama is this uh, Dead Sea Salt Sheet Mask for $1.25 from Lux Beauty Care, and then the um, Dead Sea Salt mud mask from global beauty care which was four dollars for 150 ml and i think this would last you quite some time so these are actually the two products that are really not that bad and i could definitely get away with using them if i had to and i wanted some luxury treatment i also think like for kids, if you do like a, a spa birthday party or something, these would be great options. Um, I know that I did spa birthday parties when I was a kid and I always wanted to do face masks and stuff. So if you are a mama looking for a cheap option for a spa birthday party, these sheet masks or the mud mask might be a good option. And again, I will just mention this because the ingredients list is not bad at all, but I just don't feel comfortable using a retinol product that doesn't disclose how much retinol is in there. But if you are very comfortable with retinol, this might be a cheap um, option for you to just throw on a sheet mask that has some retinol in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just apply all of them to my arm and see after 15 minutes if there is any irritation from any of those masks. Okay, so I'm going in with the cucumber mask. Regardless of the mask being good, what I do like is the 
the mask brushes that it comes with. So I'm gonna do this one here. Okay, next I'm doing the vitamin C mask. What I will mention is that the cooling sensation of these gels is nice. Okay, and now I'm going in with the Dead Sea Mud Mask. Okay, so this is my one arm. So I've got the Dead Sea Mask, the Charcoal Mask, the Gold Mask, the Vitamin C, and then the Cucumber up here. And then on my other arm, I'll put those actual masks. So I've got the pore strips here. Okay, so I just wet my wrist where I want to apply it, and then I'm just sticking on the pore, pore strip mask. So that's the pore strip. Okay, next we're doing the retinol. Yeah, this is super gloopy. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, and last but not least, I'm doing the Lux. And again, this is another one that I would actually apply. So I'm just gonna place that on my arm. So you can see my arm has the, the Lux Dead Sea Salt mask, the, oh, so gloopy, retinol, mask the pore strip okay so i'll be back in 15 minutes and i will give my final review on what happened to my arms <laughs> okay so i just washed all the face masks off my arms and i will guess i'll start with my left arm which had all of the gel masks on it there was no irritation at all they were all pretty like soothing and cooling actually and i did not find that any of them irritated my skin I did enjoy the texture of the mud mask the best though, so that was the Global Beauty Dead Sea Mud face mask. Now on my other arm, a couple things happened. So the pore strip really irritated my skin and especially when I took it off it kind of hurt. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the best thing for your face because it was pretty stuck on there. Maybe I should have used some more water or something to try and remove it, but I just removed it and it kind of hurt. So it left a mark and that part of my skin is pretty irritated right now. Like if I touch it, I, it feels itchy, um, which is a sign of irritation. Now in the middle I had the retinol mask and I could feel this one actually kind of burning and hurting my skin throughout those 15 minutes. And then I did notice just some um, redness and bumps kind of on the edge of the mask when I took it off. But there was no redness actually where it felt irritated, but I could definitely feel that my skin was a little bit irritated. Now the other sheet mask that was on top, which was the Lux Beauty Care Dead Sea Salt Spa Treatment. This one didn't irritate my skin, but I did notice just a little bit of... Um, bumps again just along the edge of the mask so I'm not sure what the reason for that is but I did have a little bit of irritation on the edge of both of those face masks. That is pretty much it. That's my final review. Um, I think that the, out of all of the masks, the my favorite one from the dollar store would have to be this Dead Sea mud mask and honestly the value is there like 150 mil for four dollars. You could get a ton of applications out of this the texture was really nice, the cooling sensation was really nice, so if you're just looking to have a kind of cheaper alternative but still have that luxury feel, then I would definitely recommend this Dead Sea Mud Mask from Dollarama. Yeah, that is pretty much it from me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and be part of this awesome community of science babes. If you want to see me review more of these types of products, um, you know, lower end, higher end, just leave your recommendations and suggestions in the comments down below and I will definitely get to it. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.